And so in a, in a U.S. ASEAN context, uh, we have a U.S. ASEAN cyber poli policy dialogue that we're really excited about. We have the, the U.S. Singapore third country training program. Yep. We have the digital connectivity and cybersecurity partnership. We have this kind of rich array of fora and venues for building cyber capacity across us. That's and of course, in an ASEAN context, it's really exciting that the SDGs are one of the four priority cooperation areas for the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. Hi everybody, I'm here with Ambassador Nate Fick. We're extremely excited to have him uh, here in Singapore representing the United States at the ASEAN Digital Ministers Meeting. Uh, Ambassador Fick, how are you? I'm great. Ambassador Abraham, it's great to be with you. Good to be in Singapore and always good to be back at Asia. Excellent. Excellent. Well, if it's okay, I had a couple questions I'd love to pick your brain on. For sure. One of the things that, uh, one of the reasons we're so excited to have you here in the region is that ASEAN's digital economy is projected to grow by leaps and bounds over the coming years, uh, presents tremendous opportunities for the people uh, of ASEAN. And we'd love to get your sense of the most important issues and policy choices that will help enable that growth. Look, ASEAN collectively, of course, uh, represents some of the most diverse and fast-growing economies on Earth. And so much of that growth is in the digital domain or enabled by the digital domain. And so it's really essential that ASEAN and ASEAN member states put in place the key enabling technologies of this next generation of growth. And that's everything from undersea cable to wireless networks, to data centers, to cybersecurity for the whole enterprise. And it's important in our view that that connectivity, that that infrastructure uh, be trustworthy and that it help enable uh, a digital future that is open, uh, that's secure, that's reliable. And, and so that's really fundamentally why I'm excited to be here at the Digital Minister. It's great to hear. And um, you touched on cybersecurity and obviously cybersecurity resilience, enhancing cybersecurity resilience across sectors is obviously a shared priority of both the United States and ASEAN member states. So we'd love your reflections drawing on your private sector background and your time in government on what considerations should be top of mind for policymakers as they, as they look to tackle this. Well, I have, I have strong views on this one because <laughs> I, I come from a background of building and leading a cybersecurity business. And uh, my, my really strongly held conviction on this is that cybersecurity is actually not fundamentally a technology problem. It, it really is about people, process, and technology in that order. So what I tell counterparts, and this is what I told customers when I was in the cybersecurity, cybersecurity space, is if you have $1 to spend on cybersecurity, send, spend it on people. Spend it on building capacity in your people. Our people are, at the same time, our first line of defense and also our greatest vulnerability. And so one of, the, one of the things that really excites me most is talking with our partners about cybersecurity capacity building. And just to be very clear, we are doing an enormous amount of cyber capacity building inside the United States. And we're all dealing with these challenges as the world digitizes. And so in a, in a U.S. ASEAN context, uh, we have a U.S. ASEAN cyber poli policy dialogue that we're really excited about. We have the, the U.S. Singapore third country training program. Yep. We have the digital connectivity and cybersecurity partnership. We have this kind of rich array of fora and venues for building cyber capacity across us. That's that's great to hear. And and it's a really important part, uh, the work that you're doing and your team is doing. It's a, it's a really important part uh, for where I sit of realizing the ASEAN US Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. Uh, it's, it's a critical component of implementing uh, what we laid out. And so we're really grateful for the work that you and your team uh, have done. Now, now one topic I, I was excited to pick your brain about is artificial intelligence. And President Biden uh, recently unveiled his executive order on artificial intelligence. We'd, we'd love to get your thoughts on how sitting at the State Department, you and your team plan to engage with allies and partners on the critical issues around artificial intelligence. AI is a transformational technology that is going to impact almost every area of our economy, almost every area of our lives, and almost every person in the world. So this is a global generational kind of shift. Uh, and so our perspective is very much that uh, we need to focus on bringing the benefits of AI uh, to everyone 
on the planet and putting the right guardrails in place to mitigate the most dangerous potential side effects. Uh, one of the areas that most excites me, of course, is the applications of AI to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, the vast majority of which are wildly off track at this point. And so the application of emerging technologies like AI can present a great opportunity to alter the shift of the line to achieve the SDGs in areas like agricultural productivity and climate modeling and weather forecasting and medical diagnostics, things that affect all of us. And of course, in an ASEAN context, it's really exciting that the SDGs are one of the four priority cooperation areas for the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. Yep. And, and, and I'm really glad you mentioned the AOIP because we've actually structured um, the ASEAN-US Comprehensive Strategic Partnership around those four priority areas of the AOIP, which is just another reason why your work is so important to realizing the promise of the ASEAN-US CSP. Uh, Ambassador Fick, I can't wait to uh, do the meetings we're about to walk into. We're really grateful to have you here in the region, and uh, thank you for spending some time with us. Glad to be here with you. Thank you. Awesome.